was, I'm afraid of sharks, but they you sure are. do taste Ew. good to eat. <laughs> do they? When was the last time you've had sharks? Oh, um, I don't know, 1942 or 43 <laughs> nice. or something like that. No, they're very, they, they taste like steak, they basically. They taste like they're swordfish. Very, they do taste like they swordfish. Do. do you remember swordfish the taste? guy playing the guitar? Yeah, he sang you the shark song. Rob Osinski, and he works at Gosman's Dock, and I think it was the funniest story I did all summer because he just started busting out that song. We were singing sharks. this song for days yeah. afterwards. Oh yeah, it just, it just sucks. <laughs> I'm <laughs> singing it right now. <laughs> Let's eat shark. Let's take a look at the shark. Welcome to What's Fresh. Now, catching shark is a popular sport out here on the East End. We've got blues, threshers, and makos just 30 miles offshore here in the Atlantic. And although predominantly a game fish, there are plenty of people out here who love to eat shark. And I met a few who can't get enough of this monster meal. Now, where can a man go, the average working person, where can he go to catch the fish over 100 pounds? Montauk. You can't go to Acapulco. Well, right now, we're probably fishing about 25 to 30 miles offshore. Just the area, for some reason, that the sharks like to be in, probably because there's uh, bottom fish, bottom fish for them to feed on. You're only allowed to bring in one shark, and it can be a mako, it's going to be a thrasher or a blue shark, but it has to be a certain length. And uh, you could, like I said, you only bring in one per boat per day. Well, shark is very good eating. Shark is very good eating. Different sharks have a different taste. Oh, I like them all. I like them all. Very good, yes. Okay, today we have Mako Shark. Yeah, hi, my name is Rob Ozinski. I'm, uh, I moved out to Montauk 20 years ago. The shark fish with Frank Mundus. I love shark. I love shark fishing. And now I want to cook shark, eat shark. And there's always been a stigma around town. Ew, shark. We don't want to eat that. Let's just cut the jaws out, keep the jaws, and they threw the meat away. It was ridiculous. And right now, I'd like to show you a quick recipe that's simple, that anybody can do. It'll take about five minutes to get it together. Splash it in there, put it on your grill, tell your guests it's swordfish, and when you tell them it's shark, they're like, really? Oh, that's shark? And it will be fantastic. First, we're gonna start with about two tablespoons of garlic. Okay, next, we'll put some green onions, scallions, about the same thing, two tablespoons, and some soy sauce. About, you see a quarter cup of lemon juice and pineapple juice. Okay? And then, just give it a little swirl. Okay? And now, I'm going to put in some white wine. Probably a quarter of a cup. And then I like to add Captain Morgan's spicy rum. It's a little secret that I use, but it adds a lot of flavor. It's just put just a dab in there. And I just whisk it up. And then we're going to throw in the mako steak, which is absolutely gorgeous. It's got a nice pink color. I'm going to just drop it right in there. Push it down. Give it a swirl. And just let it sit. Now this marinade, you can do this in one hour or 20 minutes. And it's going to taste like the filet mignon of sharks. It's going to be absolutely delicious. there for maybe five minutes, turn it, and make nice grill lines, it always looks nice and attractive, and then I'm going to flip it again and let it cook for another four or five minutes, and the shark should be ready by then. Delicious. Bon 
the cheese. Let's eat shark. Like he said, let's eat shark. And I'd like to personally thank Rob for that beautiful song. He was pretty great, wasn't he? And if you'd like to find him, he'll be at Gosman's Dock in Montauk all summer long, testing out his shark recipes for his shark cookbook due out next year. So this weekend, be a little adventurous, grill up some shark steaks, and enjoy what's fresh. Dockside, I'm Liza DeGia for Plum TV.